right hi society <laughs> welcome back if you are returning if you are new here my name is Siobhan I am a licensed esthetician full-time full-time mom um, I'm also a licensed realtor but mostly you'll see esthetician stuff mom stuff day-to-day -day vlogs all that type of stuff lifestyle stuff in general on my channel so definitely like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button because you're definitely gonna want to get a notification every time i post y'all tell them it's definitely we love it here it's lit so anywho today's video we it's a requested one this one has been, <laughs> been requested so so much y'all i can't tell you how i mean i get requests all the time but this one i have been getting uh, since I started making esthetician videos so finally the time has come so as you can tell by the title this video is going to be my Aveda experience um, I'm not exactly sure why I'm gonna name it but things you need to know about esthetician school something in that range so we're gonna just jump right into it it's not gonna be a long drawn out video just something quick I'm only gonna be speaking off my personal experience so this is this is a disclaimer this won't be for everyone this is just me this is my experience and everything like that and what I went through and my location where I am so just know that all those things apply to me <laughs> so yours may be different and not the same but this gives you a little insight of what to expect all right, so let's jump right into the video. Okay, so I broke it down basically in about four categories. Um, like I said, it's not gonna be nothing too long drawn out. It's gonna be pretty quick. So the first one is facility and program. So just the Aveda experience in general. Um, then students, my student experience, fellow students, um, staff experience, and then also curriculum. So the actual program, what you've learned, just everything in the curriculum. So we're going to start out with, I have my notes right here, by the way. Um, but anywho, so we're going to start out with facility and program. All right. So <laughs> what do I feel? And I'm just basically, I didn't script this video i'm really only speaking from like the heart and truly what i think from my mind so it's not anything scripted like i said so what i feel about the facility in the program in general okay so me personally prior to me actually going to aveda i also too was looking up a ton of things to just get more insight this is why i create these videos to help others just like how i was looking for help you know when i was um just research and become an esthetician before i even signed up for school and all of that good stuff so um because i looked at a few different schools so it was kind of a tough decision for me to figure out where i actually wanted to go so i was a aveda customer and what i mean is i already was buying aveda products um i used a lot of if you don't know aveda has some stores and malls and different places they have actual freestanding stores that's not connected to like a salon or anything in the back um they do just have regular aveda retail stores my mom actually got me hip to aveda by the way my mom got me hip to a lot of things um but she used to go to aveda in the mall and get little products they had because they have some pretty good products for certain things and the brush they have the best freaking wig brush ever let me show you because okay i definitely want to show y'all because it really is the best brush so if you've never seen this brush before or if you have it let me know your experience but this is the all my all-time favorite you can see a veda right here hopefully it'll focus um maybe not you can see it a little bit kind of here a veda yeah so this is the best wig brush ever i need a new one you can tell when it starts to get like this like dipped in like that <laughs> so no mommy i need a new one but it's the best brush it's quality y'all it's like a 20 dollar brush <sighs> but anywho it's my favorite i love it so so much and i've been buying it for years um because it was my mom's favorite brush and so once i got hip to that i stopped buying like the little conair brushes and the look you know it just it nothing compared to that one so i have a link of that below 
<laughs> so you guys can check the brush out but it's definitely worth it and it lasts a pretty good time so anywho i had already been buying Aveda products so when i realized my interest in because i had been doing makeup like i said for 10 years or more or whatever um but i wanted to become more um interested and just make that more my mainstream as far as my career once i realized you could because if you guys know we really didn't know about esthetician as a whole career esthetiology as a major for years this is not new but it's fairly new <laughs> on the mainstream if that makes any sense um so anywho once I found out about that and I started researching about it and all this stuff and realizing that Aveda was a whole institute and they offered the exact um, major I wanted or um, career choice I wanted, I was like stoked because in my mind already without even really researching too much of anyone else, I was already prone <laughs> to going with them and that's based off of just my love for them as a brand so i'll speak about that first which is my experience about the program and the facility and the brand itself i love aveda for what they stand for i love their company i love their charity work i love um how sensitive and organic their products are i love the quality everything still is though in their brand like i said in like their um, beauty products like their brush and you know their hair products and stuff like that it, you st you're getting quality you are getting a brand when it comes to a beta um so now let's go into being an esthetician coming out of beta you still rank high um it's politics <laughs> so we're not going to too much get into that, but coming out of a school like Aveda, where the name reigns so high on a scale, um, we're just going to call a spade a spade. <laughs> and you're offered more jobs if you are looking for jobs right out of school. Um, people are just more uh, prone to looking at your resume or looking at you as a beginner esthetician or even while you're still a student but about to graduate a student esthetician because of the aveda name alone so i'm just giving you the real <laughs> i'm not gonna give you nothing sugar coated y'all know me i'm not with all of that i'm not giving you nothing um scripted or whatever i'm just giving y'all the real these are always going to be my real honest opinions and just real insight so what i get from that is just like anything else with like designer or anything people just like stuff because of a name aveda is definitely that type of brand so if you want to be connected to that brand it's a good choice for you um because a lot of the other schools don't come necessarily with a whole brand um they have them but it's just they don't have the ranking or the years put in like someone like aveda so let's just say Aveda is a great choice um, appearance wise right out the gate so going more into the actual facility and program and the way that the esthetician program is ran um, all in all I would say I don't regret my experience I don't regret picking the school because of the genuine like that I had going into Aveda um, so i don't regret that but what i will say to be really honest with you guys is that you're not going to get a whole lot of nothing <laughs> so you're going to feel like you spent a ton of money it definitely costs if you don't know the cost breakdown check out my video up here or up here it'll be on <laughs> one of the sides up here and it breaks down the esthetician cost school cost what i spent and all of that um but that's not this video so anywho i spent a lot of money going to a brand school like aveda so just know that you're going to spend more money going to a school with a name now if you choose a community college way if you choose just a um more affordable program for uh, becoming an esthetician i truly feel like you still get the same amount of education the difference is you are taught that brand and the way their way of doing things and the skincare they choose and um their facial 
theories and their skin theories and it's based upon that so where we defer as far as like different estheticians and what school and what state we come out of is who we're taught by so um there's general knowledge with every esthetician but depending on who you're taught by our techniques are going to be different so aveda as a whole the esthetician program i give a nine or maybe because i agree with their facial techniques i agree with their waxing techniques i agree with the techniques i agree with what we're taught i agree with all the aromatherapy i agree with the organic therapies or just the organic products in general i agree with all of the um light massage um therapies and stuff that rituals that we have is what we call them rituals um i just agree with the greeting ritual i agree with the foot ritual i agree with the consultation uh, ritual the way that we leave off a, a, a service um ritual like i agreed with their whole entire way of doing things like i it, it's such a like relaxing experience it's so it seems ext extremely professional the way that they teach you to do things and um it's just very inviting so it's extremely comfortable their whole like um like i said breakdown of or, or protocol the way that they want you to do things so i will say it has made me successful in my own private practice um meaning like i have my own spa suite so i agree with that whole thing as a brand in general so now that you guys know that let's go more into the things that i don't like about the program or the facility as a whole so as a whole i think it's a little bit too hyped as far as pricing and really kind of what you're getting out of your kits and um really what you're paying for um i believe it's too hyped <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say it's just a little more expensive for what you're actually getting back so definitely um like i said i experienced this so you can take my word for that you can look up reviews and stuff like that um but i would rate that experience like a three <laughs> out of ten and that's just because you can get the same experience like i said um not besides the like aveda brand stuff you're not going to get that anywhere else aveda is only going to teach aveda stuff but you're going to get the same general esthetician experience at any school so weigh out your options I always, I always tell people weigh out your options go with what you can afford go with what you're comfortable with um and what you feel will make sense on your resume or on your credentials um and just what you feel that you because once you go walk through a couple orientations don't just go with the first school you sign up for i suggest you to sign up for a couple schools that you have interest in that's local to you and do walkthroughs and really ask questions and ask the things that you're going to learn and ask their brand what do they stand for like really ask them questions so that you can see if it aligns with you your path what you see yourself as an esthetician things like that and you'll go off that whole experience your energy um the walkthrough i got from aveda aligned with me so this that's why i chose it more than the other one i um i experienced so just weigh your options out that way um as well because you'll know what you like and what you don't like so go to three schools you say out of each interview you already are going to know like oh yeah i like that one no i didn't like that one that <laughs> that facility didn't seem like it would fit with me so go with the one that makes sense for you don't so the next one after facility program which was ultimately the longest category <laughs> so my second one is students um my experience with students y'all okay i had the absolute best experience student wise like i'm still friends today some of my sd besties that's what we call each other sd besties i know it's cute it's catchy i know <laughs> but anywho some of my sd besties are st we're still close today we talk <laughs> you know normally like daily or whatever you want to talk about 
so those are my friends those are my girls i love them we constantly motivate each other we constantly encourage each other we're constantly growing um on our esthetician paths it's so amazing to see we're reinventing ourselves our businesses most of my girls who was in school with me all went out maybe we have one or two that did the um um corporate route where they got hired into a like corporate business or another business and work as an esthetician that way but most of us are solo estheticians um it just aligned with a lot of the girls that were in my group like life schedule all type of stuff um and doing really well so it's just good to see that and not stopping and even if you do because you're gonna get <laughs> discouraged and don't think that you're always gonna be motivated or you're always gonna be killing it or it's always gonna feel like it makes sense to you because it's not realistic that's not even realistic in life <laughs> so you're gonna sometimes feel down but have people around like use i talk about this so much in my ebook so definitely get my ebook i'll put <laughs> it's somewhere um i'll put the link in the description or in the comments below get my ebook get my ebook because i talk so much more about school and what you need to utilize in school and figuring out what type of esthetician you need to become and all that type of stuff in my first ebook so grab that if you want something a little bit more descriptive but in general become friends with the students not saying they have to become your besties because that's not going to always happen for everyone it worked out for us me and the girls that i was around um our energies just matched really well and we know what i think it was we all came in there knowing our goal <laughs> we all were looking for the same goal and we're going to help each other get there so because we had that mindset it worked out for us with tests with homework with things that this person picked up on better than that person picked up on or your skill is a little bit better in waxing so let me maybe work with you a little bit more or you're better in facial so maybe let me come and work with you a little bit more partner up or whatever the case may be or let's switch service you take this service because you really shine there i really shine over here so let like your students really were, are going to be the ones that get you through school all right so the next one is staff so staff experience is um eh. <laughs> that was the one that's a little bit mm. so uh if i didn't say student experience was 10 out of 10 but staff experience i would say was maybe a good six Whoa. out of 10. <sighs> okay staff is there to be staff so know that when you're going into it that's what i said the students are going to be the ones that more so relay you can like that's going to carry you through the program staff you're going to have that one or two favorite staff member that really gets you through really gives you the pointers really seems more relatable i would say um but other than that staff in, in general is gonna seem like you're a number kind of <laughs> Um, only because they're there to do a job. So really they want to get you past the point where you're comfortable to do state board to go ahead and get in the next group of estheticians, soon to be estheticians. So that's the only thing with staff. Don't look too much out of them. But um, I don't want to give too much because you have to purchase my ebook. E I don't know why I keep saying ebook. You have to purchase my ebook to get what I truly feel. Um, so go ahead and purchase the ebook. But staff that are relatable and that you feel comfortable with and that you feel truly enjoys teaching, um, use that. Like become, I don't know, like an open book with them because they truly enjoy to see estheticians from start to finish journey. Like some staff there are amazing and like they'll teach you stuff and some staff is good at book work. Um, like meaning they're good to teach book work some staff is better at hands-on you have to learn who's um you know their skills like which uh teacher do you need to go to when you feel like you need a little bit more book stuff like you need a little bit more help on tests which staff member you need to go to when you need a little bit more help on the hands-on stuff actually doing services actually talking to clients and stuff like that you'll notice that because it's always going to be like that in every school no matter what school you go to so 
um, when you get good staff members, that's always, always a great thing. That's just like such a blessing. So ask them for pointers, um, email them. Most staff members are really good with emailing. Um, just always try to get the most you can out of your um, instructors while you have them, <laughs> while you're in school, because you can ask them umpteen model questions. So that's what I feel about staff as a whole. I went to school in COVID. So it was a little, like we went through a lot. It was new, the whole COVID and everything when we were going through in school. So just routine and staff trying to adjust to all the, the different protocols and it was a bit much. So we all kind of were experiencing that at the same time, like the students and the staff members. So sometimes it could be a bit overwhelming, unorganized, unprofessional like a lot of things were just like okay really like this is what's going on but it passes so again my experience with that is like maybe a six five five out of ten um all right and the la last but not least is curriculum so the curriculum in general um i would say it's not super hard um but it's not simple if you get that um like it's easy to pick up but it's not simple um you do have to study <laughs> to get a lot of this stuff and once you do and the more that you practice um um do something like the kahoot i'll give away one resource but you got to get my ebook to get all the resources but something like kahoot.com and you just keep taking those uh user-friendly tests the more you do that the more it'll be like etched in your brain oh i know what this is i know these because you have to know anatomy you have to know skin physiology you really start to learn things about like how that all your your anatomy like i said in general how it works um so that part is a lot of book work like it's not super like the beginning is going to be your crucial time like it's going to feel like it's a lot that's where you're going to get overwhelmed before you even get to clinicals which means like on the floor which means when you're actually doing stuff because you're going to be hands-on throughout school as a whole you're going to be doing hands-on stuff Prop some people from their first day, they start to just try to play with little things or do like little, little express facials or something like that. Like you're going to do that, but um, it's not going to be focused too much on your technique and all of that until you get to um, kind of like the advanced esthetician stage where you only focus in on services. That's how it was in the Aveda program. You do get your own spa room in Aveda. You do service real clients in Aveda. So like real clients of Aveda. So like um, it's not, we, well you do have a model week. You can bring in people that request you. I don't know in COVID if they started it back up. When we were in school, they stopped it because of COVID. Um, so they may have started it up now, but people can come, family members, friends, for you to get points and everything because you need those to graduate. You need to do so many facials, you need to do so many lashes, you need to do so much makeup, you need to do so much waxing to even graduate. You need to use so many electricals like magnifying lamp and um, steamers and like different things to pass. So um, that can help you get points and everything. So um, you can have model week and then after that you can have just regular customers like i could walk into aveda as a stranger i could walk into aveda sign up for the aveda program like become a member or anything and i won't know you know you or whatever and you could just be someone an advanced esthetician working in the spa say you have room five and you know they schedule me with you and you come and greet me you walk me back and you just do it like it would be your own business like that's pretty much how that works it just depends on your location because they change a lot of things with COVID, so it just depends. But how it works in general, the Aveda breakdown is definitely more book work in the beginning, learning, like I said, anatomy and the history of skin and just all of that stuff, learning their protocols, everything you need to do on your tablet because all your work will be on your tablet. Everything that you have to turn in, everything that you will be looking at is going to be on the tablet they give you a tablet in your kit so no you don't need to go and buy one um what ipad um 
specifically so you don't need to buy one and then everything from there is like i said services so you start out with working on students in class we have like um spa like classroom time where they prep you before you even get onto the actual spa floor aveda has a separate spa like an actual spa you bring clients in it's not an area where i know other schools where it's where you practice that as well and the clients come in the same spot as five other student estheticians and everybody's in this same one big room our uh, uh, experience with the beta is not like that our classrooms our um, work area practice area is totally separate from spa and um on the floor real life area so um just know that the two are not the same in this type of school so um we work on students first on each other so <laughs> That can be a bit much sometimes because a lot of people break out. I did for a little bit because you're doing so many treatments. You're doing so much so soon. So just know that your school experience, you're going to go through a little bit, <laughs> a little bit with your skin and all kind of stuff because you're going to be the, the test dummy in the beginning. <laughs> and then you go off and you go into, like I said, regular people. So that part I really loved about Aveda and why I chose it too because I like the fact that First of all, I was it was like real work. It prepared me more for being solo. Like Aveda to me prepares you a little bit more to be solo um, because the way that they have it set up. <laughs> and that's the one thing I loved about it. Um, working on the floor and working in the spa was literally me getting up, going to school, clocking in, going to the um computer or tablet seeing how many clients i have that day that's how it works see how many clients i have that day getting my room ready because i'm in a spot like like i said if i was just go to my regular spot now or go to a spot that i'm working at getting my room ready um putting hot towels um in my towel warmer all of that stuff doing your linen you you know we have laundry room we do laundry you know we switch off laundry and all of that stuff getting your products and stuff ready just all of that stuff prepared you to do it on your own um and then just taking regular clients learning how to greet strangers but that's my experience with everything you guys student how i feel about the brand the facilities the curriculum kind of how it plays out and um, let me see, how can I end this off? Focus, focus, focus. That's all I can say. And just keep staying motivated. It gets hard, y'all. It does. But but it's not a long, drawn-out period of time. So um, just count down your days. Like I said, work together with your students. Y'all can get through it together better than you can by yourself. Um, gravitate, like I said, towards the teacher that you feel most comfortable to and really pick up tips from your instructor. You only work with a beta products, whereas another school you'll work with different pro skincare products so that's one of the downfalls as well as with aveda if you're looking for a bunch of different products but i didn't really mind that too much because you're going to be working outside of that and you're going to start to look at other products anyway on your own so i guess it really is not going to matter what you work with in school because once you get out here whatever spy you go to or if you open up your own spa you're not going to be using those products just solely anyway. So you have the option to just get into more products anyway. So if that's a big thing for you, it just, you know, that depends too. What you want to work with in school. Aveda only uses Aveda products, whereas other schools uses Dermalogica, Circadia. They use different things, whatever they contract with. Like, so know that is the difference as well with the experience. But like, it was plenty of times, y'all, where we was just like, what are we like spending this much money for like because you just feel like you don't get enough enough from school you're looking for so much more and we had to really program ourselves and i tell people this all the time to ask me school is the basics every school is going to be the basics so <laughs> you're only going to learn what you need to learn to pass state board that's all they teach you i appreciate you guys for watching again like i said i hope you enjoyed this i hope it answered a lot for those of you who are inquiring and requested and i will have more videos to come so definitely don't forget to subscribe hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button and i will see you at the next video bye